game, good game. What you got in there? In here? Doom. Come on, boy. Let's play. Yeah, let's play. We're gonna have a lot of fun. everybody and welcome back to the movie buffer tonight we are reviewing the color of money the sequel of the hustler the color of money is a 1986 american sports drama filmed directed by martin scorsese and released by touchstone pictures the film was created from a screenplay by richard price based on the 1984 novel of the same name by walter tevis the film stars paul newman and tom cruise with mary elizabeth mastrantone Helen Shaver and John Totoro in supporting roles. It features an original score by Robbie Robertson and was released on October 17, 1986, after a premiere a week earlier at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City. The film grossed $52.3 million at the box office. The film continues the story of pool hustler and stake horse Eddie Fast Eddie Felson from Tebbis' first novel, The Hustler, in 1959 with Newman reprising his role from the 1961 film adaptation. It begins more than 25 years after the events of the previous film, with Eddie retired from the pool circuit. Newman won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance, his first Oscar win after seven nominations. The film centered around the game of Nine Ball, a pool variant played for high stakes. A challenge nine ball match was named after the movie in 1997 at which Efren Rees defeated Earl Strickland to win the largest single match purse in pool history of $100,000. Felson now is a former pool hustler turned successful liquor salesman in Chicago. He still stakes bet for players, including fellow hustler Julian, played by John Tutorial. Julian is outmatched at nine ball by the young and charismatic Vincent Loria, played by Tom Cruise. Recognizing Vince's skill and his girlfriend Carmen's inexperience at luring players to lose money, Eddie tells the couple of their excellent potential for hustling. And this is where the story begins. Here is my review of The Color of Money. The Hustler and The Color of Money are in the category of sports dramas, which technically is true, but not really. The movie is really a dramatic thriller about the art of the hustle. In the first movie, The Hustler, even though pool sharking is what Eddie was doing, it really dealt primarily with Eddie's persona and his failing romance with Sarah. In The Color of Money, this movie deals with how to perfect hustling people in the game of pool. It's a con job where you need to be an expert method actor to pull off correctly. We meet Vince as he is beating the balls off of Julian in pool as Eddie is charming his lady and customer in her bar. Julian keeps coming over to his steak horse to get more money for bets. After a few trips, Eddie realizes he needs to pay attention to why Julian, his best player, is losing so horribly to a kid who seems more interested in playing an arcade game than pool. pool. Eddie. Oh, Julian, what am I doing here? Am I working? I'm working, too. I got this guy. He's up to 20 a rack. What guy? I'm playing two, two and a half hours for five a game. He's up to 30. So? So I've been playing him off. That's what's so. Yo, Vincent! Vincent, we're on! 
slides into a seat next to Carmen, the obvious sinister brain to this operation, and he watches Vince and Carmen. What Eddie doesn't realize is that he has come face to face with the two sides of his own psyche in the pair. Vince, the cunning pool shark, and Carmen, the ruthless strategist. By watching the couple, his soul is peaked and it takes him back to his days of playing pool and being on the circuit. So Eddie decides to take Vince under his wing. Yet it's not going to be as easy as he thinks. Vince has no idea who Eddie is and knows nothing about his infamous history. All Vince knows is that he likes playing pool and Carmen loves the idea of making real money from it. Eddie coaches them on the art of the hustle but Vince is too much like the young Eddie. He is brash uncultured, with no real path to the future. He can't see pool as a career. It's just a game to be played. Yet Vince does try. Vince begins to see Eddie as sort of a father figure, but Eddie doesn't have that in him. Eddie just loves the feeling of playing and winning at the game of pool, and he tries to instill that into Vince. Vince may look like a street punk, but he is a sweet guy at heart, and that's where him and Eddie clash. But Car Carmen, on the other hand, speaks Eddie's language, the language of his old nemesis, Burke, the language of the cold-hearted con man. Eddie tries to get Carmen to help him with Vince, to control the beast, so to speak. And spoken like a true con man, Carmen asks what's in it for them. Carmen is as sinister as they come, but she loves Vince deeply and would kill to protect him. But Carmen is very practical and will never leave money on the table. This movie is a very emotional, passing of the baton type of tale. Eddie comes to grip with his life of a salesman, but still yearning for more. Yearning to get back to who he truly is. In this process, he does help Vince come into his own, to grow up and see a real path for his future. Eddie does have the love that he has always searched for, and this time, he decides not to toss it away. I love these two movies. The Hustler, seeing a young man who was on the path of destruction, miraculously, where we can meet him again, quarter of a century later, still evolving and learning. The interactions between Eddie, Vince, and Carmen is dynamic and full of depth. Excellent writing, directing, and acting. If you haven't seen these movies, I would suggest watching them, starting with The Hustler. So, have you seen The Color of Money? Did you know about the black and white movie, The Hustler? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share so this channel can grow. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace, two fingers.